guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I did mess up the intro to the Dollar Tree haul, so I am just filming another intro for you guys. My audio gets messed up in the beginning of my videos, so... That's why I just wanted to film another intro for you guys. I wanted to say really quick that I am on Instagram now. I always did have an Instagram, but I never really used it. And I will put my name right here for you guys, so if you want to follow me, feel free to. So, let's get into this haul. So the first things I picked up were seasonal things. I like to dress up my house just a little bit with whatever holiday is coming up. So I found this adorable sign. It says, Let Freedom Ring. And I just have this on my front door hanging. It is beautiful. And it's just, it's just cardboard, so it's not going to last you forever. Maybe a few years it will last you. I just think it's gorgeous with the glitter. And the glitter does fall off a little bit. So the next thing I found I love, but it is so cheaply made. It's these door hangers. And I've only had it for a week or so. And, and the jingle bells are already falling off of it. So these are super adorable, but they do not last long at all. Especially if you're putting it on a door where you close it a lot. Like I have this on my front door. And the jingle bells just fall off of it. So if you just hang it on a door that you don't really close... I think these are fine, but I I probably would get this again, but I wouldn't get one for my front door again. This is seriously random. I'm trying to make this in order as much as I can, but I picked up. I thought this was super cool. I've seen a few people hauling these. It's the retro handset for mobile phones. Now, I have no freaking idea what I'm going to do with this, but it is super cute and I couldn't pass it up. My son, like, loves to act like he's talking on the phone so I might even just give this to him to like play with because I don't think I'd use it for myself but I just thought it was such a good deal for a dollar. I found this super cute water bottle. I got this to, just to take into like an amusement park and I think this is a really good size. It's really durable plastic and I'm obsessed with the color of it. There was a sticker on it that said BPA free so that is great if you guys are looking for a BPA free option. So yeah, I just thought this was a really good size and it's a really good quality. I've used it a few times already and I definitely don't have any complaints about it. Um, these earbuds. Now I normally do not get headphones at the Dollar Tree just because you know you don't really have good luck with them unless they're a brand name. But these are from Greenbrier. They're so cute. They have like little rhinestones on them. My sister actually bought these and they work really, really well. Just as like a backup headphone, I mean I probably won't not going to use these like all the time but if something happens to my Apple headphones or something I definitely um, I'm glad I picked up a backup so check these out if you guys are in the market for like a cheap pair of headphones these were these work really really well and then for medicine I didn't find that much medicine this time around but I did find the quill the clear quill daytime and sinus congestion and this does expire in September, so that's not a lot of time left, but I get sick a lot in the summertime. So even if I do have to throw this away, it's good to have it on hand for a dollar. That's a really good deal for a name brand medicine. Haul is all over the place. I'm so sorry. I need to get my life together. Picked up my staple. This is the Sun dishwashing detergent. I don't even know why I continue to haul this anymore just because I buy it all the time, but I figured since I bought it, I might as well include it. And I cannot pass this up. I do not need this at all. I need this like I need a hole in the head, but look how gorgeous these colors are and the glitter. I just think this box is so beautiful. And it's like a solid pink inside and I think this was either a part of the Mother's Day collection or the Spring collection, but they only had one left at my store and it was calling my name so I had to get this and it's gorgeous. And for food, I only picked up like two food items which is very rare for me, but I did in my stores, I'm sure a lot in others, I'm sure a lot of other stores do this as well. Like in the front they have a buggy with like discounted things, usually like 50 cents or 25 cents. But I seen these cool pops in that bin for they were two for a dollar and I thought that was an awesome deal. They were two for a dollar just because the box was open. All 16 cool pops were in there. So I thought that was a great deal. I definitely would have bought more if they had more. 
So always check those buggies because you can find some really awesome deals. So I picked up those. And then I seen something new at my store. It was the birthday cake cookie dough bites. These have been sitting in that bag for like two weeks. I want to try them so bad. So I'm going to try them right now on camera. I'm obsessed with anything birthday cake flavored. Oh my god. That is like, I'm like a sucker for anything birthday cake. So let's try these. Oh my god. It literally tastes like a piece of cake. They have like little sprinkles on them. Oh my god. It tastes a little artificial, but still a really good snack. Definitely for a sweet tooth. And It doesn't say, it says serving size 40, 40 grams for 200 calories, so definitely would pick these up again. They are super good if you love birthday cake. Definitely recommend these. They taste a little fake, but they're still really good. And I've been wanting to try those so bad. I just have some kid items. As you know, I do have a toddler. He is 20 months right now. He's growing up so fast, so I just have a few things for him. He completely demolished this. It was, it was one of the snack spheres, snacko spheres. I don't know how to say that, but it was just the Ninja Turtle one. He was playing with it, and I guess it it just like broke. So, like the little things popped out of it. I don't know. These are these must be really cheap. I don't think I'm gonna pick up another one just because it's not worth it for it to just break. They also had Elmo and Cookie Monster ones, and then had all four of the Ninja Turtle ones. So, and then I did get one of the new solar dancing things and I just found the monkey. He is so cute and I love him. So I had to get him. And then in the book section, I found this colors book. We're working on our colors right now. He thinks everything is blue. So we're working on our colors and this just has like your basic colors like orange and red green and yellow i think blue and purple yeah blue and purple and then black and white so i thought that was super cute and this is from green briar super cute like cars for him this is a, like a wooden train he's really really into trains right now so it's a wooden train and then a wooden bus he I think these are adorable. They are from Greenbrier as well. And I could not pass these up for a dollar. They look like antique wooden cars. So I just thought those are super cute. cute. Last thing I'm going to move on to makeup and like beauty items. So I did find a crap ton of fake nails at my stores. I was super impressed to see they had these impressed nails at my stores. I love these. They work so well. I These are sticky these are like press on nails, but I put nail glue on top and it makes them last for almost two weeks. So I found this gorgeous, gorgeous blue color, like blue shimmery. And I did go ahead and pick up two of those just because I'm obsessed with blue. Then they had this gorgeous like ombre greenish blue one with like tribal print. And that one does come with little gems as well. So I thought that was a really good deal. And they did have like red ones, but I'm really not into red. And then I found a new pair of Sassy and Chic nails. It's these like ones with the anchors on them. I never saw these before and I don't wear these that often but I just thought those were so cute with the anchors and the color. The color is so pretty. And lastly I just picked up some more Wet n Wild makeup. I did already do a haul just dedicated to the Fergie Wet n Wild collection but I did pick up more Fergie Wet n Wild stuff just because you cannot beat it for it being at the Dollar Tree. So I found two of the On Edge eyeliners, purple and pink. They did have black, but I have so many black eyeliners, and I think they had blue. But I thought these ones are really pretty, and I will insert swatches for you guys. They have a cream gel eyeliner. This one is in Coco Reach, and it is the brown one. They did have black as well, but I already have a black gel eyeliner, and I did not have brown. And I found a high shine lip stain, and this is in the shade Giving Realness. It's a gorgeous nude. If you guys know me, I love my nudes. I didn't hear good things about these, though, so I will have to swatch it and see. 
It's the Shimmering Eye Shadow Primer. And it's like a beautiful purple. And I found another one of the Celebrity Concealers. And this one's actually in fair. This is more in my color. The other two I picked up were like medium beige. So I'm really happy I found a light one. Then I got my hands on another eyeshadow palette. This is the Photo Focus eyeshadow palette. And this one is in Desert Festivals. Like a really pretty warm tone palette. And I just did grab one of the two pack nail colors. Because I love that teal shade right there. And I found the angled eyeliner brush. I was looking for this and I could not find it. Just to do some wing eyeliner. So happy I got my hands on that. Got another Milani Gel Powder Eyeshadow, the Bella Eyeshadows, and this one is in Bella Sky. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, like baby pink, so I love that one. The last two things I picked up in this haul were just the BB Cream and then the CC Cream. I do already have a review on the BB Cream, and I will link it below for you guys. And I just picked up the CC cream, but this color is way too light for me, so I'm going to have to get a different shade to do a review on it for you guys. That was everything in my latest Dollar Tree haul. I'm so sorry this haul is all over the place, but I'm super happy to get this up for you guys. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you are new. And please subscribe if you are not subscribed already. I would love to have you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.